presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We have seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 91, NASDAQ up 18, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract down $11.40, trading to 2008 an ounce. You get silver up 16 cents, $25.43 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck sixty-five, seventy-nine dollars twenty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down nine ticks, trading one fourteen oh six. The thirty-year off twelve at one twenty-nine twenty-one. And king dollar, king dollar is up two hundred eighteen ticks, trading one o one nine sixty-three. The euro is at one o nine. The yen is at one thirty-four, and the British pound is at one twenty-four to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. Well, let's get the futures up first because this is the same type of market we had yesterday. It's a slow market compared to what we've had. There's no doubt about that. And we take a look at this and the way this is set up. I mean, you know, the spike that we had out here about 10 minutes ago. Well, that's no, not going to 10 minutes. Yeah, this is, so, yeah, about 50 minutes ago. Uh, got up to that uh, 4187. It can get there again. That's the bottom line. There's, there's nothing down below here that's saying it wants to go down to these levels. You know, last time we had volume on the way up was at a lower level, but that's not a, a lower, you know, bottom line. I suspect we're going to be up here. Because why? Because if we take a look at this, you know, you're, we're going to run into Thursday and Friday now. And we take a look at the spy out here. You know, you you you're right at next to this swing high. The swing high that we're talking about here is that 418.31. We've reached for 15.08 thus far today. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We take a look at the NDX. Bottom line, we just missed the high yesterday. You know, yesterday you got to a price point of 331.62, or the high is 331.60, oh, it was 331.42 yesterday. Yeah, 43 yesterday. That's 331.63. That's the number that it wants to bang out. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract, you know, got down about 20 bucks today. It rejected the lower price at 1980. But that said, check it out. You get 209,000 contracts. There's too many contracts on the way down. We're going to be right back down to that level. And we take a look at gold. I expect what you're going to see out here. We pull this up. You know, what's game here, pretty easy, is uh, basically we got down to 1980 today. You got 1972, you got 1965. Those levels there are game. You can see you came down with some heavy volume out here today. Um, you know, that being said, we're still in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. It's gonna, it will turn into a complex one, even with the, the volume today, because what we do have is that on the way up, we had a lot more than the 200,000 mark. Um, silver, silver rejected uh, 2471 today. Right now, you're at 2545. Now, this is this one gets dicey, and this is why. And what I mean by dicey is that it's like, okay, what kind of a pattern is this? So, 
you went low at volume, you're coming into 73,000. You, you did contracts, doing 71. And that's too much, too. You know, it, what it did do, though, it rejected the lower range. The lower range does start out here at the, approximately the 2486 level. And this is all going to be about the U.S. dollar, you know. Um, and when we start talking the dollar currencies, I'm at Teddy Kegstack. It's also going to be doing a, a workshop, folks, right after I get off. So you can check that out right on the front page of TFNN. And if we take a look at this dollar, you're going to see right from the beginning today, it was having a hard time holding price. That's the bottom line. Uh, what we had out here is that, you know, you pushed higher. You couldn't hold the highs of the last two days. That's saying, okay, man. Today's not the day that that dollar wants to go higher. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And we, we did yesterday, we did have uh, light volume yesterday. And the market had a shot to go lower today, folks. And you can see, you know, you didn't have sellers. It rejected lower price. That's a, the higher swing points of game. Uh, Tesla. Tesla's down a buck uh, 21 today. You got Amazon up 250. We got uh, First Republic Bank up 162. Inside the NDX 100. The strength versus the weakness here. Uh, Intuitive Surgical is up uh, 11.59. And now check this out. This isn't doing an ABC up. And this this chart. I wish I saw this chart earlier because this is a classic time in the trade chart. So you watch this. You know we were always talking about the 2020 uh, March 2020 level. Pull this back. And you're going to see this is an ABC up. There's 22 point more points inside it. But you can see what we're talking about here is that it comes back right to the March 2020 level, rejects the high, and then takes off like a rocket ship. Today, it's taking a swing point out, taking out with volume. You're 300. That ABC structure is 322. It's taking the B point out. It's taking it out with volume. Inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have inside the Dow? You take a look at the Dow point-wise out here. This is what we have. You have uh, Travelers is putting 79 points, positive points, Goldman 10. American Express 10, taken away from it. United Health, minus 125. Uh, Cisco, minus 14. You got Home Depot, minus 13. And Disney, minus 13. So, you know, it, it's pretty intriguing watching the volatility uh, die down. And we'll see how this shakes out. If this is just going to be a crawl higher. Oh, oil. Let's go to the oil market. We take a look at the oil market out here. So, oil out here is down a buck 19. You're trading. Oh, you're going to trade into the gap. Let's see what kind of volume we got here. So you're trading into the gap. Oh, light volume. You get light volume here. But that gap's going to get filled. That's the real bottom line. I want to say hi to our man, Mr. Bill Clare. We love you, Bill. We're going to get you home. I'm so happy that you're feeling better out there, too. Our man, Mr. Bill Clare. This is Bridget's father, folks. He's 94 years old. And he just happened to have to be in the hospital for a few days, but we're getting him out of there. Wow! Wild Bill. Can't wait to see you, man. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 75. NASDAQ's up 28. S&P's are up 3. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 80. NASDAQ's up uh, 28. S&Ps are up 2. Let's go take a look at Tesla. Tesla's going to be coming out with numbers after the close out here today. The low for the year in Tesla is 101. The high is 364. They are going to be looking to do 23.4 billion to the top line, 85 cents to the bottom line. So it's amazing too, man. I remember we'll pull this back first. I'm gonna pull this back further because I just remember, you know, Elon, you know, basically pushing this paper out at four hundred dollars, man, right at the highs, man. Look at this. Four hundred, four hundred. You know, the high was 414, you're at 183. Pretty amazing. And you got a high volume low. So this is this is heading back to 101. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna get interesting with their earnings. Because you have 101, and then believe it or not, which is really bizarre, you have 64 bucks, man. Look at this thing. That's $64 is hanging out here. Yeah, now let me get closer to this. Okay, so if I get closer to this, that, that was on a monthly. You get closer to it, your next leg is that that's uh, 163, you're at 183. Yeah, there's not much here, man. You know, that's the bottom line, you still, yeah, so even at this price, you're talking about a 46 PE, <laughs> right? You're paying 46 bucks for $1, so. I don't think that's going to go. Well, we'll find out. We'll we'll find out. That's the bottom line. Uh, there's a question to the, you know, like looking at the uh, VIX and looking at the um, aspect of what you just heard me say with the the volatility slow down. When the volatility always slows down, you know, as you come into the spring and summer, just about. Okay, that's what you're facing here. You can see it's a 16.31, and then the question was. Can you expect a downdraft out of nowhere? Um, in my experience, that isn't how it normally works. Uh, what normally happens is that you can, um, you'll, you'll go to, like our, our, next, our next shot for a downdraft goes, yeah, let, let's do it this way, because this is, this is how a downdraft normally take place. The, I suspect, number one, you're gonna go after this swing high in the SPY and then the Qs. So first you go after it and that's going to give us a huge amount of information. We're either going to get the volume or you're going to get a rejection. Now, once you, if, if, if we get the volume, guess what? You're going higher, man. If you get a rejection, there you, there you go. Then it's like, okay, then you can expect that you're going to go to the lower end of the consolidation. That's how these things shake out. So if I put this on a longer term basis, 
on a monthly, you know, what you're going to be able to see here is, well, this is really interesting. Look at that volume last month. Yeah, the, actually, the, the volume last month was big, pushing up to the high. That's also telling us that it's going to go hit that high of that 418. And right now you're 414. See that volume? Look at the expansion of that volume, man. It was 2.3 billion. And the swing point only is 1.6. Now, this is cool. Now, watch this. This is how this goes. So my take is that what we're going to see is it's going to be the swing point that's going to get, get us not only information, but you're probably going to get a failure. And why? Uh, let me pull up the calendar here for a second. Because what also happens, okay, so we have two, we only have seven trading days left. And now watch this, folks. This is really cool, man. Okay. So the swing point has 1.6 billion shares. You're going in, you only have 800 million right now. And you have, how many days did I just say? Seven more days. Seven more days of trade. You're not, you're not gonna double that in seven days. So the real question is, is it gonna hold price up there? And if it doesn't hold price, then where's it gonna close at the end of the month? Because if it closes just under the 418, you know, that's bearish, okay? But if it ever closes under the 409, that's really bearish. Because you can see that's how that volume comes in. And what we're doing is that we're coming into 2.4 billion. So, yeah, it's two, two, look at it. There's a huge contraction right now. People are scared buying up here. We did 2.5 billion last month. You're only at 800,000 this month and you're going into 1.6 billion. Now let's do the same exercise in the queues. We pull the queues. I'm gonna put this also on a monthly. Same deal, look at that, look at that volume, man. That volume last month is saying it wanted a higher price. Now the queues, this is where it gets, the queues, we'll see how this shakes out with the queues because the queues, that's the the three twenty one seventeen. That's the number to keep your eye on the queues. We hit uh, three nineteen seventy nine today, but you can see that's the number, and then that we're also going into one point nine billion, and we've only done five hundred and fifty million. You know, so that's that's a you know a decent setup. You know, what very well could happen here, you know, just so you, you know, don't get frustrated, is that when you come into the summer, you could have summer doldrums and go sideways all summer. That's, 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 that's on the table, man. If we go take a look at Morgan Stanley, Morgan Stanley, I believe, came out with numbers last night. And what they did, let's see what they did there. They did 14.5 billion to get the buck 70 to the bottom line. They're still growing by about 3% per year, which is a big number. We did, you know, when you're talking about a $55 billion yearly gross. Okay, so this baby rejected $86. You're at 90. Put this on a monthly also. Yeah, this still wants lower price. So what happens here is this. You can see that we, we got down to 81.72. And see that volume there? That's just the opposite. You get 288, 205 million on the way down. This month, you get 83 million on the way up. That's a consolidation that still wants lower price. And the, the, the danger for an equity like this is you can see that the March 2020 highs are still laying out there. You know, which is pretty intense. This, this, that's about as intense as you can get. Let's go take a look at the XLE inside of the oil business. You know, oil's got hit a bit out here today. The XLE's down 54 cents. That's just a roll. Oh, this is interesting. So watch this one. This now this is subtle, but this wants lower price. See the I push I pushed it too much actually. See the See, the, first off, you're rolling. A roll is just, you know, it's a slight roll. You get a, it's a horseshoe, an upside-down horseshoe, right? 
But see the expansion of volume on this horseshoe right here? That's saying it wants to go fill the gap. The gap's laying out here at uh, 82.96, and right now you're at 85. CVX is probably set up the same way. Yeah, it is. It is. And you can see yesterday, actually yesterday, some was moving CVX. I was pushing down with volume. That gap's going to get filled in CVX also. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's down at 84. NASDAQ's up 25. S&P's are up 2. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is down 90, Nasdaq's up 22, S&Ps are up 1. Let's go take a look at uh, JNUG. So JNUG, folks, is the uh, two times uh, bull shares of the um, junior miners, the Direction Daily junior miners. The low for the year out here is $20. The high is 87. Right now we're trading at 44. Uh, we take a look at this, and what I expect you're going to see here. So you can see we we did 100% move for a move here. You know the, the high the high before the the. The high right now was the 47.59. We made it all the way up to the 51. Pulls back. And this baby, let's see what we have here. Or oh, it's right there. I suspect we can get that. We can get back to 43. You know, the 0.382 is 42.70. The 0 0.50 is 40.60. So. You know, it might take is that, you know, these 
Gold, silver equities are on a pullback now. I mean, when they, you know, when you look percentage-wise, I mean, it was a, it was a monster deal here. We went this one. Well, this is a double. This one from 28 to 47. Uh, but that it looks to me that that's what we're, that's we're going to have because if we just take a look at the actual, just pull up a couple of the ones that ran also. You got an eco eagle. I mean, just you know, it was a one-way move. Forty-four dollars up to. Uh, 50, 50, 59. And you can see, like this one here, I'd, I'd be saying, like, okay, you can pull back to 51 or at 56. That seems like a lot, but in the gold market, it's not, because that's, that's how the gold market moves, man. We go look at Royal Gold, which is a streamer. The streamers tell you basically, you know, where you're going in the gold market, the, in the physical gold market. And you can see, the, the, the cool thing is that we're pulling back with light volume. But the bottom line is, is that you'll have people jump on because there's a lot of movement, particularly now, because what happens is that the volatility inside of the broad market has slowed down, but the volatility in the gold market has not. So traders are going to, there's going to be a lot more traders inside of the gold market, inside of the gold equities, because of the fact that, you know, all us traders, you know, you want volatility, right? Because with volatility, your probability of making money goes up pretty dramatically, you know, and that and that's by the way, that's whether you're going down or up in the context of it. You just there's a lot of movement. So when we take a look at this, you, you're going to see, you know, real gold couldn't hold the 139 out here today. You're backing down. But see how light the volume is. The volume's light, you know, but you know this can get 136.66 is the first number. And it gets into that, then you're going to get 130. Um, let's just go take a look at Newmont. Newmont was a dog, but then it got some traction. So Newmont, same setup at Newmont, same setup. And you see, Newmont didn't make 100% move or move all, so that couldn't get up to the highs. You know, Newmont, this says quite a bit right here, Newmont, actually, because Newmont, 48.69. See this right here? Okay, so this is what I love when something like this happens. You know the last couple stocks that I brought up? The last couple stocks that I brought up, I was bringing you, which I always bring you, to the last place with good volume. Well, in Newmont's case, you can see the last place with good volume, the high of that is 48.69. Well, Newmont's digging into it today. Now, it's not much. We're only, you know, we got the, we're at 48 bucks, okay? So that's not a lot. But the way the setup is right now, it looks to me like it's going to go to the bottom of it. Now, if that goes to the bottom of it, and this is one of the weakest stocks anyway, then the rest of these equities are going to get down into those. We're going to be making a retracement. And I, if that's the case, what that's going to be all about, that's all about the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is going to basically do a bounce out here. We go into the note and bond market. Let's take a look at the note and bond market. Because I want to show you something after we do this. Okay, so the note and bond market. This rejected lower price today at 113.30. This is the 10 year. It has light volume. Yeah, this is this this still wants higher price, lower yield. And right now the 10 year is trading at 3.6. So the high has been 4, 405. The, Low for the last uh, three months is 3.3, right now at 3.6. Now, check this out. Let's see, let's see. One. Oh, one second. Well, I'll do it the next segment. Unreal. I just brought this up in between, and I forgot the, I forgot the four-letter code that I was doing. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe this is it. No. Go. Oh. Nope. I'll find it. What I wanted to bring up, what I'm going to bring up the next thing. I'm going to bring up the Taylor uh, rule, folks, because you're going to be in shock that, <laughs> like, you know, the, the Fed doesn't use the Taylor rule anymore. Um, but I, I, what I wanted to show you is the aspect of where interest rates, if, you, if we were using the Taylor rule, Taylor rule, where 
the where am I where the uh, rate would be let me see I got it okay I got it so check this out This is interesting, man. So look at this. So if you're watching Tiger TV, this is bottom line, the Taylor rule. And the way the Taylor rule, right now our Fed fund rate, see this is 5%, right? The Taylor rule is saying that the type of CPI and inflation that we have, okay, core is at 4.6. See this down here? That would be saying that our interest rate structure should actually be at 9.4. So when you actually look at this, what ends up happening is that when you look at this model, it would be saying that your real interest rate structure right now, even at 5%, is basically at, you know, 0 0.60, 6 tenths of 1%. Yeah, that's, you heard that right, okay? And that would be a real interest rate structure. And that's what's going to be so intriguing to see that, okay, you know, do we continue to have a high CPI coming in? You know, because if we do, then, <laughs> then this is, this is, all that really makes sense is that, okay, what do you, what is the real cost of money? That's what it comes down to. What is the real cost of money? Yeah. The TLT, we take a look at the TLT. The TLT is the 20 year plus bond fund. Uh, the low for the year out here is 91. The high is 123. This is trading out at 104. So what these are, uh, these are these are 30 year bonds that have t more than 20 years left. And this is just filling up that gap. This one's higher price too. See, I see how the volume's dying on the vine. You know, the the gap there is 102.97. You hit 103.47. This one's higher price. I, I suspect, you know, and the way if you're trading the the TLT, folks, the way to trade that is off the 10-year. That's how you want to trade that. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 110. You get the NASDAQ up 12. S&P's off one. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523.
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's down uh, 102. NASDAQ is up 16. S&Ps are uh, flat. So let's go to Tesla again for a second because, you know, what is amazing, Tommy was talking about this on his morning show today, but this is about as intense as you can get. So they're top-selling car, folks, okay? which is the, um, they slashed, a, Tesla has slashed the starting price of the top selling vehicle by one third in just three months, okay? This is the Model 3, I believe, huh? One second, I want to open that. Um, at 46,990, the cheapest available Y model, utility cost, is 29% less than it was in mid-January. Tesla's other high-volume uh, car, the Model 3 sedan, can now be had at 40,000 for the first time in years. The bottom line is that, can you imagine that you actually, I mean, you buy, we all know if you buy a new car, as soon as you take it off the lot, you know, you, you probably lose a third. But now, now what's happening is that you not only lost a third, you I don't think you lost another third, but you probably lost another 10% if you already had the car out there, plus the 30% that you had to take it off the lot. This is about as intense as you can get. So it's going to be really intriguing when they do come out with their numbers because what this is saying, particularly because he's coming out with his numbers tonight, is that they weren't willing to wait even another day to say, okay, I got to cut my prices again because we're not selling enough vehicles, you know? So when you see um, the initial starting price in a Model 3 was 46,000, it's 39 now. The initial price of a Y model is 65, it's 46, that's unbelievable. The S, 104 to 84, that's pretty intense, that's 19%, and the X, 120 to, to 94. I mean, I don't, I don't think we've seen, you know, vehicles, anything kind of go down like that. I mean, this is, this is going to be a, basically a bloodbath inside of the electric vehicle market. That's what it looks like. And the spreads, and we'll, we'll find out this afternoon when um, Tesla does come out. I suspect the spreads are coming down pretty dramatically, too. So let's just like, take a look at this for a second. So... We take a look. So you can see their earnings per share this whole year are going to come down. Like they are looking for them to go up next year, but this year coming down. And they're looking, they're looking to push a lot more vehicles out next year. But guess what? You can push more vehicles out. But the real question is, is are you going to make money pushing those vehicles out? Because... The, the reality is, is that now what is happening in that business in general is that there is a lot of uh, competition in that business. I, I, well, you know what's interesting, too? The, um, I can tell you I've only driven one because I, I brought my car in to get fixed. And I got a Mercedes, uh, they gave me a Mercedes electric car. They gave me a choice. Say, oh, let me try it. And I wasn't impressed, man, at all, not even close. Where I never drove a Tesla, but I was in a Tesla. And compared to the 
Mercedes compared to the Tesla, the Tesla was 10 times better. And believe me, I've, I've got a lot of fast Mercedes cars, right? and I have one right now. Um, but they, that couldn't compare to, you know, I mean, you can, hit, you can hit the floor on that, and, you know, you go back, but nothing like a Tesla. So I think they're going to have a hard time. Uh, Mercedes is, let's put it that way. I'm not quite sure about the other vehicles that are out there and just where, um, you know, they are in the context of it. Okay, so let's see what's happening out here. We just got hit here. We just had the S&Ps go down, not a lot, but we went down six. But you always got to pay attention to this. Look at that move. <laughs> oh, man, what a trip. Okay, hey, it has volume behind it. So, so what does happen here is that then, I mean, I wasn't expecting that, but you can see the last time with volume on the way up was 4163. It's only 10 points down. And we just went down 15 points <laughs> from the high. And what time is it? 347. It's going to be hard, hard to kind of get that, but someone just unloaded, that's for sure. The NQs, take a look at the NQs. Same setup in the NQs. The NQs are actually, well, that bar there is 11,132. And we're, hey, that, that bar could get hit. Not quite, well, I mean, someone was selling. That's the bottom line. Let's go look at the dollar and see if that dollar actually moved higher. Because the, this market cannot stand a high dollar, folks, okay? It takes conniptions. The dollar didn't even move. That was just a big order that came in. And bottom line is that, uh, you know, you can see that when, you know, when you're coming into the spring, when you're coming into the summer, bottom line is that, you know, they can move these markets around quite a bit. Uh, when we take a look at the overall volume out here today inside the NYSE, you're only at 466 in, uh, inside the NYSE. So that's saying we'll do about 800. Um, the composite is volume, 4.3. We're going to do 4.8, you know. So the composite does have volume out here. And, yeah, the composite. See, the composite's right next to its high. The, the high that composite's going after is 12,269. Oh, we made it up to 12,191 today. This is not, this is, this, this, this wants to test it. When you get this close, folks, to highs, all lows, the way this normally works, whether you get closest to highs and all lows, and you stay there for a few days, you are going to test it. And then the kicker is that your hold price, not hold price, where is the volume? And, you know, that's where the battle lines are set up. And the battle lines right now, regardless of how this just backed down, are still set up up at that, those levels. That's, that's how they're set up. Um, you know, it's almost... You know, let's take a look. I'm going to put the cash S&P up right now. Because, see, because we've been in this consolidation for so long, it's almost too easy to say that, oh, at the top of this consolidation, it's going to give it up. Because you can see, I mean, look when you're looking at this. We've been in this right now. This is a monthly chart. So three, six, nine, 12. We've been this up here for, we've been here for a year. Hasn't been able to broke, break it. Jumped about, jumped over it. Uh, what month is this, man? I, I gotta get these monitors closed. Anyway, jumped over it once, gave it up in price before the end of the month. So here, here's your setup. You know, it's a, it's a large consolidation. And listen, it'd be great if that's the case. But you know, it's almost like okay, that's too easy. Can't make it up here. You're gonna go back down, but that's how markets do run. There's no doubt about that. I, the the one deal that I I've been hearing too many people, <laughs> normal normal financial folks who are not technical, saying, "Oh, we're coming to the top of this, so I gotta sell." It's like, okay, that's not what you want to hear. That's you know, that's saying that you can blow through that area in about a second. Dow, Dow Industrials down 137, Nasdaq's off seven, S&P's off six. There, right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 123. NASDAQ is flat. S&P is down 4.5. Let's go take a look at AutoZone. So the low for the air in AutoZone, folks, is... Uh, where are you? 1,700, the highs 2,691. We're at uh, highs right now, we're at uh, 2,665. So you, you pull back a bit out here today. You know, this thing has just been going higher and higher and higher. You know, it's like, okay, you got, you got plenty of support here at uh, 2,579. Not sure what you're doing with the way you want to buy or sell. Do not go short the stock, I can tell you that. Because what you're also going to have with AutoZone in general is that, the, so picture what ends up happening, folks, okay? AutoZone does good when they sell a lot of cars and people have a lot of money, and they do good when you come into a recession and people don't sell their cars because they got to get things fixed. And they also have outstanding um, customer service. You know, the bottom line, you can pull up to any AutoZone, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how to do a thing with cars, man. I mean, not even, I, can, I can do the windshields, I can do a few things, but they're willing to help you do anything, okay? Um, that, you don't, you used to get a lot more of that. You don't get that as much anymore, folks. Uh, that says to me that, you know, it, it's pretty cool. Um, and it's very helpful. Uh, and there's a huge amount of money in auto pots, by the way. Uh, don't forget, I'm in Mr. Teddy Kegstad, folks, okay? He's doing the workshop uh, right as soon as I get off. You can come over to our website at TFNN, get his newsletter, 
You'll be your incident workshop. And bottom line is that, you know, the dollar index is running. He's going to be talking currencies more than just the dollar index. Uh, but understanding the correlations inside the currency markets are crucial. Why? Because that's we're only dealing with numbers. We're dealing with numbers and you're dealing with currencies. How much is this particular unit worth in this particular currency? And when you get your head wrapped around it, it's a lot easier probability-wise understanding why things can be higher and all lower. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Don't forget about Teddy's workshop. Come, come visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Bill